beautiful Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your reading for June 2021. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful that scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. Unfortunately, my schedule does not allow it. I wouldn't take money anyway if I did. Uh, just to let you know as well that I do not have WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I do not take donations. So if you would like to give back, please give your money to charity. Also, or I keep it for a rainy day. Also, I do not have a personal assistant and I do not do meet and greet. I'm only saying these things so that you are aware that if anyone claiming to be me asks you for money, it is a scam, okay? Just, I just want you to be safe out there because uh, YouTube or social media is full of sharks. So just be mindful, keep yourself safe. Now this is your June reading for 2021. Um, we've got a major event happening uh, in June, which is obviously the 10th of June, that solar eclipse. Now we've just gone through that lunar eclipse, which may have paid havoc with your energy, but it was to reset. Endings bring new beginnings. The, the lunar eclipse um, really made way, it's almost like it is the doorway to that solar eclipse. Um, the solar eclipse is about focusing on your dreams, goals, and uh, also um, being full of self-expression, okay? Um, it's a giant leap forward for your goals or your dreams, and you may start to recognize that you need more uh, that when you're currently receiving, whether that's in your career or whether that's in love, it's about how much you put in Scorpio and recognizing that you put in like a lot, you put in your 100% and sometimes situations or people do not meet you halfway, okay? So very, very important time of an awakening. It's about, um, you know, giving it your all, but recognizing that you've got an extra zap of energy there to sort of really go after, almost like on a crusade of what it is that you want. This is a time for that new beginning and that focus on um, whatever it is that you're hoping to achieve, uh, whether that's a new love relationship or deepening a connection that you've currently got, or whether that is opening yourself up to opportunity, uh, it looks like um, it's a very exciting time. Now, I'm just using a new deck here, which is the Spirit Animal Oracle. Um, beautiful. Uh, we got two birds. Very interesting. Uh, we got the owl spirit here. And you see clearly now. It's number 43, so this indicates here that there's a lot of wisdom, but 43, when you reduce it, 4 plus 3 is 7, which is the chariot card. So this is about movement forward, allowing your, your vision or your wisdom to carry you through so that you can overcome any obstacles and just move forward on the vision ahead. Uh, you see clearly now, so you may have been weighing up some options here. It's almost like you're seeing 360 of a situation and you've gained that wisdom or that knowledge that is allowing you to um, rise up. Um, there's also, they're really highlighting the crown on this owl. So that's about the crown chakra, which is a deep knowing. You know something is shifting. You know that the energy is changing for a more future, uh, fortunate time for your future, okay? Um, also with this owl spirit, they're giving me an energy here of you seeing things that maybe other people do not see, Scorpio. Uh, there's energy, it's almost like strategy. You know, the owl, uh, the owl sees like from miles away. They see the prey in the dark miles away. They see 360 and only when they see the goal, the prize, whatever it is that their intention is, then they swoop in and they get the prize. They claim it. OK, so I feel very much like you're waiting for the right opportunity here to get what it is. Um, that you're hoping for. Now, Scorpio, you may be acting under the radar for a little while in June. There may be something that you've been working super hard on, um, whether it's a plan, a strategy, or um, you're trying to manifest something. Um, you may have gone a little bit MIA recently and kept your goals, your dreams all to yourself because the owl, you know, is wise old owl, says, sees everything, says nothing. Okay, so um, just be mindful of that energy. It's about <clears throat> knowing when the right opportunity to swoop on something. Um, and we've got that eagle spirit, which basically connects to you, Scorpio. Uh, you know, the eagle is about um, seeing things from a bird's eye view, seeing the strategy ahead and, you know, going after um, a goal and uh, sort of um, achieving it. Now it says here, spirit has your back. So whatever it is you're uh, trying to manifest, uh, they're indicating here that, um, you know, the, the eagle there is a bird of prey. So, uh, so you got wisdom and you got prey. So you just got this energy of 
the deep knowing that something that you're trying to achieve is going to come to fruition and um, swooping in and, and getting it, you know, just grabbing it on up there. Um, also, number 23, when you reduce it, two plus three is five. That's the number of obstacles, okay? So you're overcoming those obstacles in order to um, sort of achieve something. Uh, I feel very much like... Um, You've had a lot of blockages. It feels like you've been having a bit of an uphill struggle recently. And I feel now's the time to sort of um, rise from the ashes. I know that's such a cliche for Scorpio, but I do feel there's this energy of rebirth happening with that solar eclipse on the 10th of uh, June. Um, a vibrational upgrade for you. I feel it brings really big changes in your life. Things that you may have been planning for a while, I feel are starting to be activated oh my gosh there we go okay the the powerful energy for you this is the protagonist energy for june that i feel like it's really powered by that solar eclipse the sun is very important for you in june this is about being in pursuit of your happiness what it is you truly deserve all the hard work that you've been putting in there scorpio it's about blossoming it's an awakening um, now this is a time of positivity of success of optimism this is the most um sort of uh, flamboyant but positive card in the deck it's about success and it's about uh releasing any confusion now the moon often brings confusion so you may have felt really clouded or lethargic when it came to that moon energy that uh, lunar eclipse i know it completely zapped me i was out for two days um so you know you could have um I feel like now it's like a power up kind of energy here. So exciting energy for you for June. Uh, a lot of success reward. I even uh, feel reward for you. But we are going to go deeper and do a Celtic cross and see what's coming your way. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? Now, just to let you know, whoa, I will be clarifying both career and love because this is the monthly reading for June. Um, we have the Justice card. You deserve this. And we've got the Empress. Why? Because you know that you're worth it. You know that you're enough. Okay, the Justice card in the reverse, as well, it's in the resistance position. So it's like it's shown up in the reverse. So this is the challenge, okay? The challenge is you've been working super hard and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and it's been a bit of an unfair energy. Now, I also feel like you may have dealt with a lot of um, sort of underhanded behavior in the past, whether that's in your career or whether that is um, in love, I feel like there's been deception, okay? Uh, people holding you back, um, trying to stifle your, your pathway ahead or maybe, maybe even competition there. In terms of love, you know, there's an energy here of um, sort of lack of accountability sometimes. I feel like uh, people uh, that you've gravitated towards, um, it's almost like they've always got a secret or something. Um, and you, it's, all, it's almost like you already know the secret, but you're just waiting for them to just tell you out straight, okay? Um, I don't feel like you judge, you would judge them on this if they told you the truth up front, um, but I feel like it's, it's what is not being said sometimes behind the scenes that you instinctively feel, you just know, because um, look at that sun, you know? Um, the, the, the crown chakra is missing, it's blossoming. You just know, there is a deep knowing there. Um, and I feel like, um, you're also looking at what is right for you and yourself. So this is the challenge. Uh, the challenge is to find a solution, you know, to overcome any of these obstacles. So for example, in your career, if anyone is holding you back or you feel is stifling your energy, hindering your progress forward, or you feel like someone has, um, you know, told you some information that is not true or in some way is unfair. Maybe there's even a legal problem that's going on at the moment. You're trying to weigh things up there. Um, there's an energy here of accountability, of things turning out in your favor, of fairness and, e and equality, okay? I feel like you may be weighing up what is right for you in June, okay? And deciding um, that actually you deserve better. Um, because uh, th this solar eclipse is all about that. It's about looking at uh, your motives, your needs, and moving forward knowing that uh, you should be receiving more, okay? Um, so I feel like what is right for you will never pass you by, and June is about getting what is right for yourself. Because what's interesting about this deck, and it is the Ex Animo Tarot deck by Bonnegur, um, it's a series of major arcana cards that I only read in the upright for your overall energy, uh, but what they're indicating here, it's uh, number eight. Okay, normally the justice card is number 11, but this is about uh, eight is the number of self. So this is an energy of you um, getting um, what is right for you, okay, and deciding it yourself. Um, and the outcome, this is a wonderful card in your unified position. 
This is abundance, the Empress. Now, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. But this is about what you deserve, what you've already worked hard on. The Empress has already sown the seeds. She's nurtured the, she, she's nurtured the goal. She's nurtured the dream. She's nurtured the relationship. Whatever it is, it is about all the attention. Where your attention goes, success flows, okay? So I feel very much like um, there's an energy here of you um, growing something to fruition, being successful. There's a lot of abundance about you. And I feel like this is, you did this, you know, you did this, this was all you. Uh, and I feel like you're recognizing that you deserve to reap the rewards because you put in the hard work. Okay. Now the Empress also uh, has strong, healthy boundaries, strong self-esteem, um, and knows what she deserves. So therefore, in terms of love as well, finding a happy relationship, someone who meets you halfway, someone who is willing to recognize um, the beauty of you both inside and out, because some people that you may have met, they may not have even gone deep like you do. They don't even scratch the surface. Okay. So I feel like um, there is um, an energy here of you, uh, finding the right relationship for you as well and knowing that you're ready to um nourish something that comes your way okay i feel like there's a, a lot of potential around you scorpio both in terms of your career and in terms of love and i feel like you will be turning heads in both um areas okay now let's go and see uh, your energy um for the celtic cross uh, this will just look at you know the heart of the matter is your first card, then we'll work, work through any challenges for the month. So what is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Scorpio right now in this moment? What is the heart of the matter? The devil. Oof. Okay. So this is the heart of the matter. What's going on, Scorpio? Very, very uh, intense energy. Now, this is an energy when you get the devil card, especially in this position. This is about obsession. Okay. This is also about maybe your... Uh, I'm going to clarify with another card, of course, uh, but you may have been dealing with some sort of toxic energy, whether this was a person or yourself. Scorpio, the heart of the matter is your present moment. You may have felt like you're in a bit of a stuck, you're stuck position, okay? As you can see, there's like webs there keeping that figure stuck. Um, and now it's either about being attracted to something that is uh, sort of a an alluring energy that is maybe toxic. It could be a person, it could be a situation. You may even feel like your workspace is very toxic environment. It could be a family unit, it could be friendships. You may be looking at things, patterns, where you feel like you're always the person to have to um, help people out or always a person who uh, people go to um, when they need something, but whenever you need something, nobody's there for you. It could be an energy here of obsession now, I am getting an energy here of you working yourself ragged, Scorpio, okay? I feel like there's an energy here of working really, really hard without breaks. And um, it's almost like, okay, the way I'm getting it is if you are, um, in terms of career, um, if you've got a goal or a dream, Scorpio, I feel like you are super focused like a laser on that goal and dream and you will stop at nothing to achieve it. So it's like this big boulder that keeps on going, keeps on going, keeps on going. It's almost like an, um, a dog with a bone kind of energy. And I feel like sometimes you work so hard, long hours, you don't even realize that you're working because it's something that you really want to do. Okay, so I feel sometimes, um, I don't feel like you're attached to money but I do feel like there's an obsessive energy here um, that is keeping you stuck and keeping you without um, freedom. I, I just get like, maybe you feel like your freedom has been curbed in some way at the moment. Um, now, whether, thank you so much for it, guys, great angels, can you please clarify? Thank you so much. Okay, now we've got the Five of Cups in the reverse position. Uh, so they're indicating here that hope will return. So you're feeling, if you're feeling a bit kind of down in the dumps or feeling really stuck energy, maybe you're feeling like something is unhealthy in your life um, and you're trying to release yourself from that energy and look for a brighter day. Your overall energy is there is going to be a brighter day, of course. Uh, but because we had that lunar eclipse there, you may have been looking at what things are not very healthy in your life and how to get rid of them because the five of cups indicates emotional security will return uh, there will be a hopeful energy something that more positive comes your way if you felt like you were um dealing with a love relationship that was very toxic and if you separated from something and you're trying to heal from that energy um or you're leaving a relationship and you just want the, you wanted the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth um i feel like you may be closing something down um to get something better 
okay? Um, but the Devil card indicates um, something that, I feel like something that you don't trust that is keeping you stuck, but you know, deep knowing that you're detaching yourself from it. Now, when you get a, so they want one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Got Angels. When you get a solar eclipse, it's like slamming the door to the pass, slamming it shut, bolting it, the end setting the whole thing on fire and walking away from it okay so uh whatever this devil situation is there we go there it is <laughs> and the world card boom it's over okay and look we got the 10 there so the 10 of um wands indicates a very heavy energy so you may have come out of um may with a very heavy energy feeling like what am I doing all this for? What am I working like a beast for? And I'm getting no rewards. You know, I need to stop this right now and come back into balance. And that's when you're victorious, okay? The world card indicates the end of a pattern or the completion of a pattern. Pattern. You've come as far as you can within a situation and you're feeling it's time to move forward, okay? Uh, from there, as you can see the victory wreath, from there, there is victory because every element is in play there. You recognize that you're worth more. Um, and we've got, oh, it's interesting here. Now we've got the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is a very sharp energy, but very self-sufficient. So you may have been um, working on something all by yourself, Scorpio, and felt very, very alone in this energy. But I feel like you thrive uh, with that, uh, with that kind of energy. I feel like the Queen of Air as well as Queen of Swords is an energy of clarity of purpose. So I feel like you're seeing the vision clearly and I feel like you're cutting anything away that no longer serves you. I feel like it's definitely an energy of strategy for your career, um, but also you're letting go of any false truths or anything that you may have believed in the past that you think, you know what, am I, am I kidding myself? Is it time to just cut it all out? Whether that's with uh, negative friendships, negative relationships, negative workspaces. I feel like, you know, you've, had a bit of an epiphany moment where you're like you know what I'm, I'm letting all of this go it's time to just you know be very sort of discerning with who or what I spend my energy on I also feel like uh, in terms of negotiating something better for yourself I feel like you're going to be really awesome at that okay uh, now we've got the sun card in the reverse which is a waiting energy uh, and also a very down energy so you know there's something here that may have frustrated you um, and you know you may have been dealing with egotistical people or you know a, there's a sadness here it's almost like I feel like you're looking back on your life thinking damn why did that person do that to me why do they have why do they feel the need to hurt me why do they feel the need to you know put their ego um, on top of a situation and really try to destroy me because I just get this energy of you asking the question why they're showing me lots of question marks so I'm just getting um, you looking like why I never did anything I, I I just wanted love I just wanted to do something I loved so I just get this energy of what why uh, kind of energy there um, you've been waiting a long time now the four of um, wands indicates you're at the finish line you know there is a celebration here uh, you're you're nearly um, there but you're releasing something before you get there. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, this is, as you can see, victory. Those two people uh, coming together to celebrate um, a job well done. There's the victory read there. So it's half. It's like a half win, as it were. In terms of love, I mean, you may have been waiting for a long time for someone to really invest in a future with you properly and settle down, but you had to get rid of some sort of a karmic cycle, something that was a uh, baggage from the past, whether that was with a person, maybe it's a ghost of someone in the past that it keeps popping into your head every so often. Maybe this person even keeps showing up in your world to talk and you're like, damn it, how am I supposed to get, get over you if you keep coming back and talking to me? It's like, because they're showing me right now someone like a plaster being opened and closed, open and closed. So it's like opening a wound. Okay, um, it's really interesting because they give me like a mixed message here, <laughs> which is um, it's like take the plaster off fully, rip it off because when you do that, you let the air get to it and it heals properly. Okay, so it's almost like something that may if if you've kept it covered, if you've kept the wound covered for a while, and you felt like you've been healing it. It may be that uh, it's been healing slower than it would if you just ripped it on off and just faced it. Okay, now I feel like that um, that solar eclipse on the 10th of June is going to bring something really um, illuminating towards you to make you really face something. Okay, um, so whether that is you leaving a toxic job situation or a relationship um, forever, 
there's an energy here of uh, finding a solution that is right for you and knowing that you're worth better okay now what is the challenge wow this is quite an intense uh, reading energy from that one card uh, what is the challenge for june what is the challenge for june although i feel like the devil is pretty like pretty hard in itself um the devil crossed by the nine of pentacles beware of workaholism okay because they're really indicating um you know Leave some time to enjoy yourself, Scorpio, because you deserve it. You so deserve it. You work so hard. And I feel like um, because you enjoy your work as well, sometimes you get a little bit lost in it, maybe. And I feel like um, it's tempting to keep going and going and going until you burn yourself out. Now, the Nine of Pentacles, the challenge here is you're in a solitary energy. Um, you're working on something um, financial gain. There's a lot of financial gain coming towards you, um, but I feel like you've had to work, put in the hours, extra hours to do it, okay? There's an energy here of just working yourself to the bone. Um, and I also feel like there's some sort of envy, okay? Now, whether this is in a work situation or um, there's jealousy within a, a love relationship or something here, I feel like there's envy. It's almost like people look at you, Scorpio, um, I feel like this has been ongoing, but it's almost like people look at you like you got it all going on and um, they want to knock you in some way. I'm going to quickly pull a card on that energy before we move forward. Nine of Pentacles, can you please clarify that with the devil? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? This is the thing, Scorpio. No matter what, no matter what comes your way in life, you're the wounded warrior. You're still willing to persist. You're still forging ahead like a warrior or warrioress. And regardless, it's almost like if someone tried to stomp on you many, many times, whether it's in a relationship or in a, in a career, it's like you just get back up again. You just get back up again. Oh, they've given me a song. They've given me this song before. Oh, gosh. And now I'm not going to remember what it's called. Of course. Um, it's... Um, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to keep me down. I can't tell you what the name of the song is. I'm so sorry. When it came up about a, a couple of months ago, um, it may have even been for your reading. Um, I looked it up then, but I, I can't remember what it's called. So I feel like it's come up a couple of times. Anyway, I'm, I'm not even going to guess at it, but... Um, what it's called but i i feel like the song definitely reflects the energy that i'm getting from the card it's 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 an energy that people recognize your resilience they recognize that no matter what no matter what the circumstances are you're a survivor you keep going okay you make it work and often you make it look effortless which makes people even more cross it's almost like if people do you wrong scorpio you don't get angry and sting them right in the face you smile and you're like okay can't fine whatever and then you walk away and they're like, damn it. So they feel like they have to hurt you even more to get a reaction. Okay. So I feel be mindful of people like that, especially in June, um, because it looks like um, they're looking at you like, how are you doing this? How are you still managing to um, move forward in life when they're trying to either keep you backward or they're, uh, they're trying to stifle your energy? You just keep going. Okay. Uh, now the Queen of Pentacles energy is an energy for um, saving a lot of money, uh, staying true to your vision and your dream, no matter what comes your way, the obstacles, no matter what life throws at you, you still power on through and you still try to make it work. Okay. As I said, you're a survivor and I feel very much like, um, there's going to be an opportunity where your goals, your dreams, they really, um, start to pay dividends in terms of finances. So if you're, uh, saving for a house or wanting to settle down, I feel like, um, June is a really exciting month for making those sort of plans. I feel like um, you're determined to make something work and I feel like uh, financially it's going to be rewarded for that, okay? In terms of relationship, I also feel you could be dealing with a Virgo, uh, someone who, um, you know, uh, broke your, your heart um, and you may have persisted with this for quite some time. You may have even felt like you were gonna settle down with this person, um, but it did not come to fruition or this person was uh, not accountable for their actions. They ghosted you or they breadcrumbed you in some way or were dishonest. I feel like um, this person, I, I'm just gonna pull another card on that with this card, this deck here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Burnt Angels. Uh, you could also have been dealing with someone with a fire element, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, but I'm getting strong, Virgo. Thank you so much. How would you like to see? The devil. Okay. So the devil in reverse. This is someone that you may be trying to detach yourself from because you feel like um, no matter what, 
you feel alone okay no matter what you've tried no matter how many times you've tried to give this person um a, a shot at proving themselves that they're changing um i feel like you're closing the door to that because there's definitely an uh, energy of resistance and i feel um you've come as far as you can here with this i feel like you're really freeing yourself up from, from this energy and i feel like you're aware that this person knows what they're doing okay uh, before you may have been willing to sort of let bygones be bygones or recognize that this person is an energy that um, is keeping themselves trapped um, and you may have uh, tried to help them I feel like you may have even given this because they're showing me um, two hands coming together so it's almost like union but I feel like you helped this person in some way um, this person did not help you in the same way I just got this energy that you're trying to detach yourself from the situation <clears throat> you may even get a phone a, a phone call okay I was going to say a conversation but uh, I'm channeling so they give me the words um, a phone call from this person um, I feel like you may talk to this person in June um, in some way and I feel like everything just becomes super clear and it's it's I feel like it's the end of something I feel like you know that you deserve more okay now what is below you what is below my beautiful Scorpio can you please guide them what is below them for the month of June can you please guide them for their highest good what are they meant to see the king of cups okay now the king of cups is your card Scorpio this is your energy um, you're bossing up now in terms of career I feel like um, you're leading with love you're following your heart but also as you can see look at those waters okay they're shark infested waters so whatever it is that you were you know your heart was leading you into in terms of your career because I'm going to um, clarify career first and then love on the card as well um, there's an energy here of you not feeling safe or feeling it was not safe to express yourself or that um, you were dealing with people an environment that was toxic or dangerous not dangerous in a physical sense well I hope not touch wood but an energy of um, something that is um, toxic basically and you may be saving as you can see master and mistress of your own ship uh, there there's an indication that you're saving um, your goal or your dream until the waters are right so it's an energy here of waiting for the right moment to proceed okay I also feel like you're being diplomatic in a situation where um, you know you were in every right to sort of lash out I feel like um, but you've chosen to have the the high road as it were or have to take the higher ground and that's what peeves people off a little bit more okay that that kill them with kindness kind of smile um, now the king of cups is your energy of course and I feel like you have a lot of love to give both your goals and dreams but you're waiting for the right opportunity to sail that ship you're waiting for the right moment the you know the right environment for you to launch something whether you're being an entrepreneur or whether you're being uh, you you know you're bossing up maybe you're moving into a different department in terms of your career um, or um, being supportive to others as well I feel like a lot of people are coming towards you for guidance I do feel like there is a friend who uh, you're going to be giving advice to um, in June and I feel like that person really comes full circle for you in a in the following couple of months I don't feel like you expect it you're not giving your advice to get something in return as I said earlier but I feel like there's something that they're going to really help you with in the future um, because of your generosity of spirit in terms of love this is the highest love of all okay the king of cups has a lot of love to give and Scorpio you've got it and then some deep waters with you and I know that's a cliche but you know I feel like you're uh, so wonderful with your heart a lot of people give Scorpio a bad rap saying you know uh, they just want sex or they you know uh, that they're so mysterious or they're so intense and all of those wonderful things uh, we're all of those things of course and we embody those things in each moment um, but I feel very much like you are willing to plunge the deep with somebody I feel like you're ready to go that distance with uh, someone in love but you may not have met the right person right now because you're in a solitary energy or you've dealt with lots of toxic situations in the past um, in terms of a career as well I feel like you're ready to um, sort of set sail on something really exciting um, now what is in the past Ooh, these cards are a little bit chaotic I'm just gonna give them a little nudge thank you so much for it guys going angels can you please thank you so much um, now they give me the name Lorna Lorna so if your name is Lorna or you're dealing with sol someone called Lorna then there's something in this message for you it's not going to resonate for everyone of course uh, they just want that person to pay close attention to the reading as their attention may have wavered um, King of Wands 
okay now the king of wands is in your past position so king of wands is a bold leader okay in terms of career you may have felt like you were really sort of um, marching to the beat of your own drum uh, not conforming to people um, and their expectations being um, you know courageous in your goals and dreams but you may have felt like your passion for it is in the past so you may have felt like that you've lost your way a little bit or that there's a, you know, you lost your mojo for something that you were once very, very passionate for. Okay, I'm just gonna pull a card on that energy. Because I'm just getting this energy here where you may have felt like, um, it's interesting, they give me an energy of when you had so much passion for something, so much drive for something, and you were willing to do anything to um, create your destiny, um, and, and launch this passion into the universe. It's almost like the universe was saying, well, you're not ready yet. So therefore opportunity did not show up at your door. So once you have felt like, oh, now I'm not sure if I even want to do it anymore. I've, I've lost a little bit of a spark for it. I feel like that's when it's going to show up. It's going to surprise you. Just when you're maybe thinking about um, doing something different or abandoning a dream or a goal, I feel like that's when something comes left field. And um, how would you like to receive? Thank you. Uh, something comes left field and um, brings an opportunity. Okay, yeah. Look, the night of the night of materials. Okay. Um, now this is a stubborn energy. You may have felt like it's not working, so you may have felt like you're uh, giving up. Okay. Now Scorpio, it takes a lot for you to give up on something, but I feel like the spark is still there. I feel like it's not over. I feel like you may be just finding a new way of doing things because that Death card signals change. Okay, so it's changing up the script. If there was something you were doing that it was not working, if you always do what you always did, and you're going to get the same result. So you may be doing something in a different way to get a different result here. Um, I feel like you're resi you're resisting. Um, how can I put that? You're resisting giving up on something, um, but it was close. Okay, I, I just feel it was close. Um, let me see, just see. Uh, thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio in terms of uh, career, temperance, disruptive energy, in, and and a little bit sometimes impatient. Okay, Scorpio, please don't shoot the messenger when I say that. Um, I'm a Scorpio too, so impatient sometimes. I want it all at the same time because I put in about two million percent, and I expect to get the results because I put in so much, but that's not how life works, unfortunately. So I feel like there was an energy here of feeling out of control or, uh, and I feel like it's because you're working so hard. It's almost like you felt like you never had a breather. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go one more on that. How would you like to see? Thank you so much. Justice. Justice will be yours. Good karma. That's your challenge card. Okay. This is your challenge card. So they're indicating the right opportunity. What is meant for you will never pass you by. This is a solution card. This is about weighing up your options, making your decision, and recognizing that if you follow the truth of your heart, um, then you will get what the opportunity that is meant for you. It will meet you halfway, okay? Um, in terms of love, I feel like um, you may have met someone that um, ignited your passion, or you may have found it difficult to find someone who's got it all, the love and the passion. It's almost like you may have met people who were like really loving and uh, very nice to be with, but there was no passion. Or you may have felt like people were very, very um, wonderful to be with who were very passionate, but they lacked the depth of emotion. They didn't have it all. I feel like there was just this one person who had it all, but they were a devil type energy. Someone who was toxic, someone who was obsessive in their energy, but that's what fueled the drama within the relationship. Um, moth to, to a flame kind of uh, energy. I'm just gonna quickly pull a card on the relationship the, the love energy for that. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Yeah, page of emotions and the star. Someone that, um, you know, ignored the feelings for you, okay? We got the page of love there. Uh, sorry, the page of emotions, which is the page of love. Um, someone who was younger than you, perhaps. Someone who um, offered their cup of love to you to, at the first. Uh, now, someone who was actually quite studious um, and, you know, seemed at first that it was... Uh, that they wore their heart on their sleeve, but there was something else. There was something deeper here. It's almost like you got lost in this. Um, and I feel very much like this person ignored how they feel because this the star card uh, in the reverse indicates a repression. Okay, someone did not, um, they confused. 
You know, there was a test of faith with this relationship. It may have brought you to your knees. Now, there is an energy here that this person is coming back in June to um, offer an apology. Okay, you may not take that apology. Uh, let me see. Because we got the world card to clarify that energy already. So I feel like you may be deciding to cut that out. Yeah, death, the end. And the temperance card, again. It's a disruptive energy. It's a disruptive force in your life. Um, I'm clarifying the same card, so I'm not surprised that the death card came out again and the temperance card. Um, you're signaling the end to that. You're leaving that firmly in the past. Um, and you may feel like that person uh, used sex for intimacy, um, even though that person really did actually love you a lot. Okay, but I feel like they refuse to change or they refuse to heal themselves um, in order to step up to the plate in terms of relationship. Uh, now, what is above you? Okay, what is the potential? The chariot, beautiful energy. This is success. The chariot is, even though you may feel like you're moving at a snail's pace, you're still on the right track. You're still moving towards your goals and dreams. You actually will be um, moving a little bit fa faster in June, actually, after that, um, that solar eclipse there. So the chariot basically means success, victory, okay? And I feel like you are the one who is actioning this. You're the one moving forward. Giant leaps and bounds, okay? Um, I feel like you have the willpower, the determination to succeed, and success looks different to everybody, okay? But you have the potential to reach high ranks either in a career or get the opportunities that you truly desire. This is the prize, okay? You're moving forward, you're taking action. I feel like you're going on a bit of a spiritual journey as well. Um, there, Scorpio, I do feel like um, the cogs are turning, everything's starting to fall into place. Um, situations just start working out, whereas before there may have been a self-doubt or even a loss of control. You may have felt like, um, as I said, you abandoned a goal or dream or nearly did, uh, and but you're getting back on the horse. I feel like you're very much connected to that um, willpower, that spirit of rising up. Again, I know it sounds like a cliche, but that... Um, Phoenix from the ashes rising up. So success is your destiny. Now you may also be thinking about moving home, uh, relocating in some way, or even buying a car, uh, because sometimes I get the energy of car with the chariot card. I'm getting it very strongly in June. Uh, you may have just bought a car, or uh, there's a you're looking at cars at the moment um, in order to move forward. Um, please take it and resonate. Sorry, they're just giving me something. One moment, please. They're showing me someone cutting a cake. So either you're listening to this reading or you're cutting a cake. If that's you, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course, um, but they just want that person to pay close attention to the reading. So you may have cut your slice, uh, per, you may have cut yourself a slice of cake or you're cutting a cake as you listen to this reading. I mean, if I'm just, if, if that's not you, maybe I'm read, if I read the energy, when you cut a cake, it's a celebration of something. So, um, it could signify a celebration. They're also showing me someone... Oh, I, I didn't think this was a thing anymore. Um, they're showing me someone licking a stamp. Now, obviously, we're going through a pandemic. I don't think anyone's licking anything these days, sadly. Um, but there's an energy here. Uh, maybe licking a stamp is... It, it basically means, um, you know, you're sending something off as a, maybe a birthday present to somebody or a birthday card or maybe a thank you card or something. If that's you again, um, then there's something in this message for you. Uh, I'm going to pull a separate card on that to see if the stamp is something is being sent to you as a, as a way of celebration or whether that is you sending something to someone else. I'm going to clarify that now in a moment. Now we've got the page of wands, so I'm just, I'll, I'll deal with that now in this moment, but I'm just going to clarify that. Can you please clarify the stamp energy that I'm seeing? Thank you so much. The Emperor. Ooh. Okay. So they're indicating a couple of things with that. The Emperor is a very, very exciting energy. Okay. In terms of career, uh, I feel like this is uh, something that's connected to business that's to do with success. You being raised up high. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of powerful energy around you here. The, st the strategy, the plan, whatever it is that you've been trying to take action on, whether you're an entrepreneur or whether you're bossing up into a, a leadership role with more responsibility, or if you are just, you know, putting some plans in motion um, for uh, the future, I feel like you're going to get some really successful news. Okay. Um, I, I really feel like there's a lot of um, everything's coming together. The way that you planned it okay um, also in terms of love I feel like you may be hearing from somebody that you felt was uh, your your twin flame um, I don't often get this card um, to do with that but it could also be that you're about to meet somebody and be 
communicating with somebody new that is soulmate energy. Um, I'm just going to do one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guide. Great Angels, can you please guide? Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Ha! We've got the same cards again. This is Please pay close attention to your reading, Scorpio, because we got the Death card again and we got the Temperance card in the reverse again. So they're indicating whoever this person is in terms of love, for example. I feel like it's the person that you're trying to end things with because they're a disruptive energy in your, your life. This person's maturing. Okay, now obviously you have free will. It's totally up to you, but the Death card signals the end. It could also signal change within the union and uh, you know to bring a new beginning with the union and to end the resistance the stagnation that's been happening in this union so it the temperance card though does represent a, an impatient kind of energy or, or something feeling out of control with this frustrated with this person that comes in and out of your life but expect communication okay um <clears throat> Now, just to let you know, we all have free will, so it's totally your call whether you want to heal something with somebody in the past in terms of a love uh, or a friendship or whatever. Um, that's your call, okay? You know your personal um, situation. This is a, a general reading. But uh, also, just to let you know, um, if you're wanting something new, there is a movement forward card as well. Um, now, in your near future, we've got the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands in terms of the career is a, a new project coming in or some sort of new opportunity that really sets your soul on fire. This is, you know, it, you being enthusiastic about taking action on something and opening yourself up to abundance. It's the beginning of something exciting and new. It's, a, a, it's almost like a new venture or something that frees your soul. Uh, you finding that passion, that mojo again, that desire to do something, finding your purpose or taking the lead and stepping into something really exciting. This is an energy to dream boldly because your ideas, they have passion, they have drive, and they have potential, okay? They have value. So very, very important energy. You may be uh, sort of really uh, being curious about something exciting and new, whether it's even a hobby. If you don't work anymore, you're retired. Um, I feel like there is an opportunity here for you to go further afield and do something that is out of your comfort zone a little bit, um, but I feel like that is... Um, it's going to keep your attention, let's put it that way. In terms of love, there's a new passion coming on in here for you. Again, this person may be a little bit younger than you, Scorpio. Um, it doesn't mean that they're young in um, maturity or energy, uh, maybe just in age, you may not want that. But there's an energy here of, um, sorry, they just did ask me to go again, uh, the star. Okay, so um, now pages, they bring news. Just to let you know, so you will be hearing uh, from someone who's very passionate about you. I feel like um, I feel like someone has their eye on you already, and it's not just because that card um, has got a magnifying glass. We got the star card, so there's an opportunity to heal something with someone in the past if you want to. Uh, just to let you know, but this is a renewal of hope. The star is uh, a lot of abundance coming your way in terms of your career. If you're wanting to be in the spotlight for something uh, in terms of your career, this is a recognition of a job well done. This is award or victory, uh, good news, success. It is um, putting you very much in that spotlight um, because you've done a, an awesome job. Uh, if you're like a an artist in some way or a creative in some way this is you being spotted or kind of recognized for the extraordinary work that you're doing um it, it's allowing you to dream i feel like the stars are aligning for your success in terms of uh, love there is that opportunity to heal something with somebody and i feel like the stars are aligning for you to meet somebody new should you wish to meet somebody new i feel like uh, destiny is on your side and now it's interesting i don't normally take another one in this position but they've asked me to go one more so i will thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide thank you so much the magician okay so whatever it is you're manifesting scorpio you're very connected to the universe this is about thoughts becoming things you're very focused on anything that you want in life it's almost like you have a laser if you uh, fall in love with someone it's going to be like a laser straight away you don't meet someone and kind of go yeah, they were kind of okay. They may grow on me. You're not that kind of person. You walk into a room, you can spot someone about 500 yards away that you're like, that's the one. I just know. Okay. Um, same with a career. You're either 100% committed to it or you're out. There's no sitting on the fence. Okay. Because you can't fake it, Scorpio. There's an energy of, you know, they all say that, that, that sentence and fake it till you make it I feel like that wouldn't really apply to you because you put so much effort into whatever it is that you do that you're like I can't fake this if I'm not interested it's going to be written all over my face and you know 
they're giving me a saying, which uh, when I've just heard it, I feel like it's very funny, uh, like a bulldog chewing a wasp. Okay, so that maybe that's a sentence that you say, because now I'm just imagining this bulldog chewing a wasp. Uh, it's, it seems quite funny. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the magician card indicates um, that you have a lot of uh, skill and you're gonna accomplish, you're gonna accomplish great things uh, wherever your focus goes. So um, I feel like your intentions are going to bring things to reality, okay? Also, I feel like your, uh, your confidence is starting to grow as well. Whatever this opportunity is, your confidence starts to grow from there. Um, also, in terms of love, I feel like whoever you're thinking about, Scorpio, if you're thinking about manifesting a new love, then that's what's gonna come towards you. The stars will align for that moment. If you're thinking about someone in the past and you want to heal that, that is what you're you're magnifying and magnetizing into your life, okay? So thoughts become things. You're turning your visions into reality by using inspired action. Inspired action, you know, you're, to be inspired is when the synapses in your brain uh, can see the bigger picture, start to visualize things that you want in the future, and then it's almost like an order in a restaurant where you're saying to the, to the waiter or the waitress, hey, I'm, want, I'm hoping for this. And then the universe says, okay, here's a fresh order of this, okay? If you ask for it too many times, for example, um, now they gave me this a couple of weeks ago or a couple of days ago, uh, which I found very profound. Um, if, for example, uh, I'm just gonna throw this out there. If I really wanted a diamond ring, for example, um, and I was like, okay, dear universe, please bring me a diamond ring. And the universe goes, okay, one diamond ring coming up. You obviously have to wait for it. You have to meet it halfway. You know, you're saving or you're entering competitions or whatever to win this diamond ring. Um, and then the next day you say, hey, universe, I really want that diamond ring. I mean, it looks so beautiful. It's big and I love the little blue edges to it or whatever um, that's got sapphire around the side. And they're like, oh, now Scorpio wants sapphire around the diamond ring. Okay, that's fine. You still want a diamond ring. In your head, you're thinking, I still want a diamond ring, right? So then the next day comes along, you're like, I can't wait. I'm size five on my ring or whatever. Um, and I want it in platinum. And they're like, oh, I'm bringing her or him a diamond ring that's got blue sapphires like they asked for yesterday. And I found the perfect gold one, but they didn't ask for gold. Now she's asking for platinum or now he's asking for titanium or whatever. I got to go and revisit the script. Okay, thoughts become things. Ask for something once, throw it out there. Be really precise about what it is that you want, okay? And that's when it magnetizes into your life because if you're constantly reordering with different words on a different day, you're never gonna remember the exact words you're using, okay? So you're just reordering. So, you know, it'll never come because you're continuously sending your order back to get a new order, if you understand what I mean. So have you ever noticed that when you just throw something away and go, I really love that, and then you just throw it away, and then a couple months later, it shows up in your world, and you're like, oh my gosh, I was just thinking I really love that, and now here it is. That's because you just threw it away once. You didn't think about it again, and it came to you. So thoughts become things. Magician is very, very powerful for you. The near future is going to bring you everything you need, okay? Now, what is the advice you're giving to yourself in this moment? For June, the advice to self in June. Six of Swords, move forward, but move. Don't stay where you are, don't stay stuck. This is a rite of passage card. This is a necessary change in thinking to, go, to gain greater wisdom. Also, can you see? You're anchoring yourself, you're anchoring your emotions. It's been a turbulent time, especially with that moon energy, but also whatever devil energy you've been um, sort of dealing with in your life where you're feeling like, what is the point? I'm, I'm trapped in this energy. How do I get out of this? This is an addictive cycle I'm in. It could be any kind of cycle that you're thinking, I don't belong here. I don't wanna be here. This is not who I want to be. I need to move, I need to move forward. So this is about you finding home. Where is it you want to anchor that that, that, that anchor, where is it you want, can you see the star is holding that, the stars are aligning for you to be rooted somewhere, to gain greater wisdom, and to have that transition to relocate and be where you're always meant to be, okay? So it's almost like you asking yourself in this moment, your advice to yourself is, what do I want? Who am I? Where do I wanna be? Where do I feel at home? Okay, so you're asking yourself bigger questions here in order to find out where you fit in. Where do you fit in in the world, okay? So I feel like you're making big uh, decisions here and making big changes. I also feel like relocation is very important here in June, whether that's a relocation in terms of spiritual um, spirituality or intent, um, like moving from a job that's toxic 
or um, a, a relationship that doesn't um, meet you halfway and is um, bringing you down, ca causing you know really dark energy uh, that you just don't need. Okay, this is a time for healing and moving forward to what is right for you. Now, I feel like that's a perfect position for you to be in. Okay, w where do I want to be? Where do I fit in? That's a very important energy to look at. And who um, reciprocates the energy? Okay, and move away from anything that does not meet you halfway because sixes are about balance, harmony, and about equality. So you may be looking at those and releasing any relationships, friendships, I mean, even toxic family um, connections um, where you feel like um, it's keeping you stuck. Okay, sometimes there's unhealthy dynamics in situations, whether it's in career, friendships love relationships, family, whatever. Okay. Now what is the environment? Wheel of fortune. Boom. I'm loving that. Something is going to turn out exactly with the way you hoped. Okay. This is fortune's wheel. This is destiny and fate intervening to bring you a, a little sprinkle of luck because you worked so damn hard for it, Scorpio. So sometimes when luck shows up in your world, you're kind of like, huh, I'm really grateful for the luck, but damn, I worked hard for that. Okay. So there's definitely an energy, not ego. I feel like sometimes you're so exhausted, you run yourself ragged, whether that's in a relationship because you give everything, every piece of you until you feel like you've lost yourself in the other person or in your career. Similarly, you give everything you have to give in order to um, be successful at a goal or a dream that sometimes you're just left like standing there going, what am I getting out of this? So um, the Wheel of Fortune indicates um, there's a lucky break on its way for you. I feel like... Um, some, a gamble or a risk coming out of your comfort zone to do something is going to really pay off. And I really feel like your destiny becomes obvious to you. All the cogs are starting to move. Everything's fitting, slotting into place. And it's because you're leading with your heart. Can you see? The first cog there is on the heart. It's all starting to work in your favor. This is change. This is karma. And this is luck being on your side uh, for once. Um, also, it's divine timing. I feel like you're either in terms of love, you meet someone quite by chance, who is the right person for you at the right time. Uh, similarly, um, your career, I feel like um, there is an opportunity that's coming your way that allows you to move forward in your career and rise up, okay? Um, I feel like you've been manifesting this change for quite some time. And also putting all your hard work, your passion, your drive, your love into it, almost obsessively. That's why we got that devil card energy, Scorpio. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What's our hope and fear? Now, we've got the world card and we've got the death card. Okay, two cards of completion and ends. The hope is that by ending something, that you're walking into a new beginning that will bring you better energy that is not stagnant, that you meet somebody, for example, in terms of love that does not resist their emotions or keep you feel stuck, can keep you feeling stuck. You want to be able to express yourself, Scorpio, with someone, and you want to be able to trust somebody, okay? I really do feel also that you want to release the obsessive energy um, with that death card um, in this position. I do feel also that there is um, an energy of um, something new is taking place, but you're looking at the bare bones of it. You're starting to blossom because of it. And I feel like the, the hope is that you can, you know, express whatever is in you without fear of, um, you know, not being judged because I feel like Scorpio, either way, I feel like you don't really care whether someone judges you or not. You march to the beat of your own drum. But I feel like you're just done with the pain. You're, you're done with the suffering. And I feel like it's time um, to mourn the things that you lost in the past whether it's career opportunities or, um, you know, uh, love relationships that did not go in your favor. And it's time to rebirth something new. It's time to rise up and blossom, okay? Um, but the fear here is um, to be stuck. I feel like um, there was inertia. Your hope was destroyed in something. And I feel like you may have lost your passion or lost your drive for something. Um, now they're showing me some breaded fish <laughs> so sorry it's just really random and i can smell it too it smells amazing so if you're actually cooking or eating breaded fish uh in some way a battered fish or something like that then there's something in this message for you okay it's not going to resonate for everyone of course uh, but they're being very precise so if that's you there's something in this message for you okay um also we got the world card 
So you've completed your part of the bargain. You've come as far as you can within a situation. You've hit a glass ceiling, okay? Your world has become so uncomfortable and small. It's time to embrace a brand new world that's larger than your own. And there's a new cycle in play here for you that brings a lot of satisfaction, a lot of fulfillment. I feel like you're coming full circle. It's time for you to rise up and receive the rewards, but you have to let go of something. In terms of love there could or, or career, there could be a, an energy here of um, either delays, uh, you're, you're fearing delays in terms of career. You're like, come on already, I work really hard. When do I get a reward for this? And again, not about ego, but you know, it's about, it's almost like you're so close to giving up that you're like, show me something, give me a sign that I'm on the right path. Show me that what I'm working on is not for nothing. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is about to show up and show you that it's not for nothing. It's about to show you that, you know, you got this. Um, in terms of uh, love, I feel like you may be worried that what if you've got unfinished business with a person because there was love there. Okay, um, you know that you need to end something because the cycle keeps perpetuating itself. And I feel like you're taking the power back to just completely end it for something new. Um, and what is the outcome? Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know? Can you please guide? Okay. Um, so <laughs> they're giving me a, a quote from a film. Uh, we're not in Kansas anymore. It's Toto, I guess. Um, but they're just giving me, we're not in Kansas anymore. So either this is about you feeling like you're away from home or you've been on some weird and wonderful trip when it comes to branching out in life um and that you're feeling uncertain i mean that that's from the wizard of oz right we're not in kansas anymore so this may mean that or maybe you're actually from kansas and you're not in kansas anymore maybe you've uh, moved or you're, you're thinking about relocating but i feel it's about finding where is home because in the end she says there's no place like home so i feel very much like it's about finding your place in the world uh, in june okay where do you fit in um, and in what situations uh, they want me to go again but here's your judgment weighing up the options judgment is also an energy of um, rebirth renewal freedom okay you're at a decision point in your life you there's a fork in the road oh wow that's quite a lot there's a fork in the road um, and you have to make some decisions in order to move forward we got the two of pentacles another decision card weighing up options Okay, trying to multitask, but at the same time, trying to weigh up your options, okay? Keeping all the plates spinning in the world um, and in the air. As you can see, that's an infinity sign right there. So you have infinite possibilities to be successful and sort of rise up in terms of business and career, but it's about opportunities. Uh, also, they're indicating right now that there is two opportunities coming your way, and it's not because there's a two of pentacles here, but they're indicating there's two uh, opportunities. One is a little bit lesser than the other. Uh, there's one really awesome opportunity that's going to come your way. You get to decide, of course, but it may mean that one of them you have to relocate for, and you may be a little bit nervous about that energy, okay? Um, we've got the Nine of Cups, and we've got the Three of Pentacles, okay? So the Judgment card um, is your, your soul path. It is about making a final decision on something. Also, the judgment can be about second chances. So you may be weighing up whether you give a second chance to a, a goal, a dream, or a career that you may have felt like you had to put on hold for a while or that you were losing your passion for. This is another stab at it, as it were. Um, also, I feel like you're honoring your soul path, the inner calling that you have, that deep knowing that the way forward is about to be very, very successful. This is... Um, but you have to release something that's hindering you, okay? This is about, it's almost like, I, I explained it in another reading. I think it was the um, Aquarius reading. If, you, if you're if you holding on to a branch, for example, um, because you want stability, you know, otherwise if you let go of that branch, you're falling from the tree down to the ground, you may hurt yourself really badly. So you're holding on to a branch. You don't let go of that branch until you find another one. Okay, so that's in terms, that's in life, you know, in terms of a career opportunity or, uh, you know, sometimes, um, of course, when it comes to love, the branch snaps and you fall to the ground, of course. Um, but there's an energy here of you um, sort of 
finding another branch. That's what, what I'm getting here. Um, also, we've got the Three of Pentacles. This is about uh, building something with teamwork. In terms of career, it's about um, you know working really hard, collaborating, using your skill, and you having a lot of skill. You've got a lot to bring to the table, Scorpio, and I feel like you're starting to build something very, very successful for yourself, um, and I feel like it, um, you're on the way to long-term security. The Three of Pentacles is about gaining help from people as well. So I feel the outcome, um, you know, someone is going to ask for your advice and you're going to give it and it's going to be awesome for them, but they're going to repay you. This person's a good soul. They're going to come back uh, in a couple of months after that and they're going to repay you with some sort of either information or some sort of um, opportunity to help you. And I feel like you're going to be very grateful to this person. I don't feel like you expect it. I feel like this person surprises you, okay? And it may be even such a small piece of advice that you give this person, but it means the world to this person. And they see you as an integral part of um, their success. And therefore, their success becomes your success. I hope that makes sense. Um, and finally, we got the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is an energy of um, wish fulfillment. However you're wanting this to work out, this is the achievement of desire, Scorpio. Um, so are they just giving me something here? One moment, please. Benz, Benz. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure what Benz means. I mean, it may. I'm gonna have to look it up. But it could be like, I don't know, Ben as a person and Ben's apple or Ben's house or Ben's. So I'm not sure, but they're just saying Benz. So, or maybe something Benz. Maybe it's about flexibility. Uh, I'm not sure. So I'll have to leave it there. I'm afraid. Um, they're also showing me right now a um, ladybug or ladybird, however you want to say it, ladybug. Little, um, little red one with little black spots on there. So either you're looking at one of those right now as you listen to this reading or it's a signifier to you that your dreams, your goals are about to come true. Um, or you're about to take a step in the right direction. Uh, if that's you, there's something in this message for you. I feel like it was a ladybug bug that has come and it may have landed on you because they're showing me someone sitting at a table and it landed on their hand so if that's you there's something in this message for you okay uh, nine of cups is wish fulfillment your dreams your goals uh, material abundance good health uh, serenity peace good fortune uh, all headed your way okay and i feel like you're doing this you did this all by yourself scorpio uh, there is going to be a little bit of help from somebody in the um you know, not in the near future, I feel like it's in a couple of months after, um, and um, I feel like it's a really exciting time for both of you to blossom. Um, also, in terms of love, I feel like there's an opportunity for you to give someone a second chance should you want to, um, but you need to work together, okay? Uh, I feel like you're maybe undecided, uh, but I feel like whatever way that you want this to work out, whether you want new love, I feel like there's new, and if you want uh, old love, to heal that, I feel like there's an opportunity to do that as well. Be mindful. I'm going to pull a card on it because uh, they are indicating here that although this person is maturing, uh, the Three of Pentacles is really highlighted to me. So I'm just going to clarify this energy before I move forward. Can you please clarify that Three of Pentacles in terms of love? The Emperor again, okay? So this is someone that uh, either is a divine masculine energy um, or a divine counterpart that is maturing. Uh, I mean, the same card that's coming out, right? So they're really indicating the same person. Uh, can you please clarify uh, if this person is making a return or um, this is someone who in the past had a third party situation or let a third party intervene in your relationship? We got the page of inspiration. So I clarified earlier the page of inspiration. We got the emperor, uh, well, it's the page of wands. So they're indicating that you will hear news from this person who wants a second chance, okay? Uh, this person finds you very attractive. Uh, they're coming towards you to um, start something new. They want to they want to talk. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. The sun, this person... I mean, it's up to you, Scorpio. We all have free will, of course. Uh, but they're indicating here the sun. So this person, they want to... They, they, they're awakening. Okay, and they want to be with you, Scorpio. They, they want to be in your arms. Um, I feel like there is new, though, as well, that is coming on in. So uh, pages, they can be new energy as well. So I just want to clarify one more time. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. This may be somebody 
Ace of Materials, this is new. Okay, so they're indicating there is a choice here for you, uh, Scorpio, because what they give me here is the Five of Inspiration is an energy of um, obstacles, okay? Uh, challenges that need to be overcome, self-reflection, uh, dipping the toe in energy. Can you see that person's dipping their toe in the water there? So there's an energy here of you rising up above the obstacles, but seeing things clearly because all those mirrors re are reflections. So this person you may have felt was a reflection of your past or reflection of you. Um, and so we could be dealing with twin flame energy, okay? Now they're also indicating the ace of materials. This person's coming in to give you something solid, but aces often bring new as well. So I feel like there is an opportunity here for uh, new love that is solid, kind, dependable, something that goes the distance and really blossoms, okay? This new person that comes on in could be an earth element, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but also I'm feeling um, some, some fire energy as well. So Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Um, very passionate, but very grounded. So I feel like you get a choice and you may be a little bit conflicted because the two of pentacles indicates either or, either or. In terms of career, I feel like it's definitely an opportunity for you to be an entrepreneur or step into a leadership role. I feel like there's two opportunities coming towards you. One of, one of them's the big one, okay? It's gonna be very, very exciting energy. So either you're um, getting a, a new job, a raise, a promotion, or some sort of new investment income there, uh, that leads to a lot of solid growth in the future, maybe even buying a new home or a car there, okay? I will leave it there. There's a lot happening in June for you, but I feel very much like um, you're navigating a time to find out where you fit in. Uh, I feel like it's a, oh no, they want me to go here. I feel like it's a very exciting energy that is uh, coming towards you. Um, intention. They only want that one card. Set the intention and it all flows from there. As you can see, the, uh, the card is called intention and it's flowing. So wherever your intention goes, uh, your energy flows and that's where you know uh, your visions, they turn into reality. Thoughts become things. What you think about, you can bring about. Very important energy. Set the intention and it shall be so, Scorpio. Now, finally, we get that wisdom of the Oracle. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio, what do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Uh, they're just showing me a hammer. A hammer. Now, hammer is obviously a tool to knock things into the wall or to, you know, fix things or maybe mend things or hammer a message home. Maybe you've been hammering away at a goal or a dream for a while, chipping away, and now you're about to break it all open. Um, maybe you're actually doing some DIY as you listen to this, you've got a hammer in your hand. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. Now we got co-create. I love this card because it is about, uh, you know, setting your intention, your wisdom. Uh, there is the owl again, wisdom. Uh, the owl is very important for you for June. Um, and you can see, uh, it's, it's in between this new energy here, birthing something new with that egg and something that goes the distance, you know, um, has endured a lot. That sort of leopard there is something that's on a plinth that's raised high. They work really hard to get where they are, okay? Um, you can go the distance, but it's about co-creation. Uh, it's number 40. When you reduce it, four plus zero is the emperor card. So that is an energy of uh, strategy, planning, success. And I'm going to read from the book. I don't want to tell you anything wrong there. Uh, I will read both the career message and the love message for you. Um, prosperity message. Flashes, flashes of inspiration give rise to great success when you receive this message. You are at your most creative now, and whatever you apply yourself to will lead to the fruition of your dreams. Remember that all your ideas are channeled from a higher source. You create your reality in partnership with spirit. The potential for manifestation is unlimited now. Revel in its vastness. Okay, so set those intentions, see the visualizations, and go with it. And we've got relationship message. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas that you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now, the very embodiment of beauty. Wonderful. Attracting the right person that will go the distance with you. Someone who is kind, wise, but it looks like, I mean, you could be, there's a face in that egg, okay? So it could be about 
um, hatching something new with somebody, you know, a new love there coming on in, or whether it is someone from the past emerging uh, to start again. Um, and this time they've learnt, they've become more mature. The choice is yours. I'm just going to get your trinket before we go. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Ooh. We got an angel. That's it. Angels are watching over you. Your guides are with you. Please ask them for help if you need guidance. They never really step in unless you're in danger. So, um, you know, you can give them, a, uh, you can ask them for advice at any time, but you're not alone. Okay, Scorpio, you can do this. You're being guided to the right opportunities and to the right person. Okay. Um, now, they just gave me two things which sound so similar, but they're different. Okay. One is Renee. So either your name is Renee. Um, if that's you, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. And the other is Renault. Renault. Renault? Yeah, I think Renault. Like a car, right? A car. There is a Renault car, I think. I'm not sure. Um, so if that's you, maybe you're buying a car and it's a Renault. I don't know. Um, I don't know cars. This may be a really uncool car. I'm not even sure. It may be an awesome car. I don't even know. Uh, so I'll have to look it up. But if Renault means anything to you, maybe a name as well, it could be a place. So please take it as it resonates. Um, they want this angel, this angel guide, they want it on the magician card. Okay. Your visualizations, your intentions are so powerful in June. Whatever it is, you're writing the script according to your desire, Scorpio. That nine of cups, that wheel of fortune, the magician, very important energy, the chariot, the king, you're in, you're in king energy. Okay. So you're bossing up. Um, you're being the leader in your own narrative. Okay. I will leave it there, my beautiful Scorpio. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Um, and that lets you know when um, I update my next message. It also lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important. Also, two other things which I failed to mention right at the beginning, but I'm going to mention them now. I've started a new channel called the Muse Eye Messages. It's a three card pick channel uh, to give you an opportunity to use your intuition to really check in uh, with my energy and connect to the cards that I feel in that moment. And also I'm running another competition for one lucky subscriber to win a free personal reading, free to enter, free to win, free to receive. All you have to do is take maybe 10 minutes out of your day. I know 10 minutes is a lot, but if you can um, spare the time, 10 minutes out of your day to really set an intention for June. One, Okay, I want you to set that intention and I want you to think about it in all its glory, all of the details. Okay, think about you. If it's the job of your dreams, imagine yourself doing it. See yourself doing it. If it's a love relationship of your lifetime, see yourself in it. See yourself holding that person's hand, um, lying in bed with that person, having dinner with that person, laughing with that person, having a shower with that person, all of those things. I want you to see all of the details. Write it down if you want to in the comments box below. You don't have to. You can just write intention set. Okay. It's interesting that you got the intention card, but uh, because this was the competition that I was always kind of uh, set and I'm a Scorpio. So I guess it really does connect. But anyway, um, set your intention. You can even write the words intention set. Okay. And I would like you to put those comments on the monthly readings only because I'm just going to check the monthlies this time because there's tens of thousands of you all writing and you know checking them all I want to make sure I get all the energy so just put it in uh, the comments box below and I'll gravitate to one towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of June okay uh, 28th of June I will pick that uh, winner okay thank you so much my beautiful Scorpio love and light